Stephen, firstly, you must be really positive in the days after Tuesday night's great performance. Yeah, it was a good performance. Um, it's not often I'm satisfied. I suppose there were still a few other things we could have been better at, but um, you know, on the whole, again, another five-game block and seven points. And you know, we sat down before the first game, the first block of five, and what our aims were. We sat down after the first block of five and said, OK, we've, we've done this well. We need to do certain things better. And we've done that. We, the, the first two games in the, against Wimbledon, um, it wasn't a good start. And then Doncaster, not a good result. But you know, the last three have been good. We've, we've done things better in certain areas of the pitch, in both boxes especially. We've been more clinical and we've defended better. And, and simply that was what was missing. That needs to continue. It can't be a one-off game or two games. It needs to be throughout the season. And, and we'll, we'll be OK if we continue to defend well from set plays. From open play, we're defensively very well organised, very good, and we've scored a lot of goals. So there's lots of positives um, and still things we can improve on. Is it a good example of your block of five technique? Because you get the first couple of results that are ropey and poor, but because you've got a short-term target, you can immediately think, right, I can make changes now. And actually it works. You've got three you know, points since then, seven points since then at the last night. Yeah, I mean... You lose the first two, nothing changes. You still need to win two games from the block. You know, the rest is a bonus. So it just keeps things level um, in a world that we live in where social media dictates everything and you're either rubbish or you're absolutely brilliant. Um, we try and keep some medium in between where it's nether. Uh, you know, we're, we're a good side improving all the time. We'll make mistakes and it just keeps everybody level. It keeps you knowing what you're aiming for and I think it's a good way to go with it. One thing that people have talked about was the central defensive partnership on Tuesday night. That does appear to be clicking, doesn't it? Yeah, I think they've both been very good. I, I thought Amp um, was excellent. Scotty's come in, done very, very well. Had to be patient. Um, Sam left and you know he, he just showed his quality and his character to keep working away. And he's got his chance, I think, with Kyle coming in as well. The, the spine of the team with Toombs and Cole through the middle. He's got a bit of experience now. We've got a bit more voices and organisation in the team perhaps than we did before and I think that helps and certainly around the edges then you can have your pace and energy and, and younger ones that, that keep us going. You've talked a lot about competition for places and that was shown wasn't it with the suspension on Tuesday night of Shane McLaughlin but no problem at all with Alfie coming in replacing. Yeah, I think uh, the same with Ryan McLaughlin as well, you know, coming in for Ryan Cooney with him being suspended. I think it shows the, the depth we have in the squad and people have got to fight for the places. In life, when things are comfortable, you take a, I mean, sometimes subconsciously take an edge off your performance. And um, I have to say, you know, the attitude of Shane McLaughlin in training and Ryan Cooney in training has been absolutely brilliant. So it gives me a headache, but a, a good headache to have. So Wickham away, it's another one of those clubs, a bit like Accrington we talked about the other week, that have shown what you can achieve as a smallish club at this level. Yeah, definitely. You know, they have to be credited. You know, they've come down from the championship. Um, they're, they're spending a lot of money. They've put a very, very good squad, experienced squad together. So we're under no illusions. You know, they've got a game in hand which could put them in the top four if they win that game. So it's going to be a big test for us. Um, if we, we show the character that we have done in the last two games, then we'll be OK. But we, you know, this, is, this is going to be one of our toughest tests so far. And in terms of away performances, it's about replicating crew and not replicating Doncaster and Gillingham. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think the Gillingham performance was brilliant. It was excellent. The result wasn't. You know, sometimes everyone's dictated to by the results, which it is a results-based business. But the actual performance in both those games was decent um, without getting an end product to it. Crew, we got the end product. And arguably, we played better in the Gillingham game. So sometimes you always don't get what you want. Look, we need to put the performance. And if we can get a result by not being so pretty, um, maybe not having as much possession, then I'll, I'll take that. You know, our organisation and our defensive partnership, you know, whatever way we go with a, a three or a, a back four, we need to be organised strong and then play on the counter-attack like we do away from home. We always seem to be talking about Carl Stocks and he scored again. It's the confidence that's remarkable, isn't it? He thinks he's going to score every time he shoots wherever he is, as seen on Tuesday night. <laughs> yeah, we were shouting to him the pass, um, so what do we know? But, you know, when you've got a boy that's on fire, really, I think is he the leading goal scorer in Europe? As I said on, on Tuesday night, I'm not sure we've had that too often at Morecambe. So, um, yeah, listen, he's done great, done absolutely brilliant. But he's grounded. He knows there's more to come. He knows there's more bits to his game he can improve. And when you've got a boy that's open to do that, then he's got a right chance. And we'll just hopefully keep for more of the same on Saturday. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because he's been sort of on the radar of teams for a few weeks now, but he's still scoring. Yeah, he's hard to stop because when you get too close to him, he turns you. 
Um, as I say, he's taken every opportunity that comes his way and he leads the line brilliantly for us. So teams will be aware of him, but then we've got other threats in the team, you know, you know Wes and, and Arthur, Jonah coming back now as well, Josh McPake. We've got other threats in the team as well. So it's, it's not a one-man band. I'm sure Cole will be, be the first to admit there's a lot of people play their part in that, but he certainly has, has led us very, very well. There's no doubt about that. So Shane's still suspended. Apart from that uh, and the long-term injuries, you know about it, any fresh concerns? Um, no, Jonah's fit. Obviously, Greg's out now for a, a number of weeks, but Jonah's fit, trained well. You know, we'll get 90 minutes out of him, hopefully on Tuesday night in the, in the Papa John's as well. So no new injuries that I'm aware of at the moment. Muslim on mobile.com